We gotta stop letting these violent criminals who are continue to terrorize our neighborhoods out on the streets. Baton Rouge Police Chief Murphy Paul sounding a little bit like a broken record at the end of a press conference this afternoon. The focus on the latest rash of deadly shootings in our area. Elise Corville was at that press conference. She's here with what uh, all was said, and Elise looks like they were upset there, perhaps with the judges or whomever keeps letting. Ironically, this afternoon's press conference was actually in the works last week. Now it was scheduled for today. It was supposed to be about informing the community about the decrease in shootings and homicide. But after the last few days, that message has changed with new strategies in place as we start those summer months. We are dealing with the symptoms of crime. Baton Rouge Police Chief Murphy Paul did not hold back at Friday's press conference. This comes after violent and deadly days for the capital city. What happened this weekend was not the norm. The violence started last week and it hasn't slowed down. Since last Thursday, BRPD has responded to over a dozen shooting scenes. At least nine people are dead, over a dozen people injured. Of all these shootings that we've had, um, at least two appear to be drug related. Uh, three were arguments or fights that led to shootings between persons who uh, were acquainted or related. Uh, three have unknown motives or suspects at this time and two of these shootings are going to possibly be justifiable. Before this spike took place, data from law enforcement showed a 40% decrease in homicide so far this year in 2023. With Operation Red Stick still in place, the utilization of technology will increase to tackle this spike in crime. We've acquired four additional drones, 40 additional crime cameras, as well as 41 additional license plate readers. Between our agency and the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Department, we have approximately 100 license plate readers that will be deployed. Also this summer, the department will see a bit of a shakeup. We've identified some administrative positions that will be reassigned and repurposed. And the chief has a very passionate message for repeat uh, offenders. And you will continue to see us. And yes, when we arrest you and they get out of jail, you're going to see us again. And yes, when we arrest you and they let you out of jail again, you're going to continue seeing us. I get sick and tired of hearing from my police officers that we're dealing with the same individuals. And I'm talking about people we arrested for homicides, facts. I'm talking about people we arrested for shootings, facts. And every time there's a shooting, you want to blame these men and women who are wearing this uniform. The chief did not take any questions after that. Now, we did learn that all of these shootings do remain under investigation. But one message the chief continued to push is if you see something or know something, just say something. He says it's going to take the community to help those officers. Well, that is a lot to say uh, from the chief and not take any questions. Thank you, Elise. We appreciate it. By the way, if you have any information that could help those officers up there, we know they're working hard. You can help them out. 344-STOP, 344-7867. Remember, you can always remain anonymous. The Crime Stoppers program, phenomenal, and it will help.